on the actual calls, put the gain up. Okay, and you can hear me there. What do you mean it's breaking? It makes sense. Are you sure? I'm gonna try. Oh, don't jump around. What I like about it is just the quality is quite high. And not, not on far. Uh, the kick out for Trevor O'Reilly from Carlo in the middle yeah. of the field, okay. and it goes over backs and forwards into uh, JJ Smith. And uh, JJ Smith lays it off to Brendan Murphy. Brendan Murphy could kick a point here for Carlo. Has he got it? Yes, he has. And uh, that is the second point for Carlo uh, coming from JJ Smith uh, just after uh, 16 minutes. So Regal's going to have to go for this on his left foot, and that'll be a powerful left footed point if it goes over. That's a tremendous goal for John McGrath. To put with goal. Four points to two up here in Dr. Cullen Park, uh, just uh, coming up to uh, uh, 17 minutes of uh, the first half. Again, I'm going to leave it to uh, Daniel St. Ledger again. Yeah, St. Ledger, uh, Ledger is going to have a go at this uh, from just on the 45 uh, metre line. Daniel St. Ledger with a score of four points to two and just uh, 22 minutes gone in this match in Dr. Cullen Park. Daniel St. Ledger to uh, take this kick right just on the 45. Hardly a breeze blowing at this stage as Daniel St. Ledger kicks this and it's right on the black spot. Three, four points to three. They're lining up to take it already, but uh, no quick free. Ed Finnegan is the one who hoops it right in. This is going in on top of Thomas Walsh. Thomas Walsh knocks it down to uh, J.J. Smith, and J.J. Smith knocks it over the bar. And that's uh, Daniel says, Ledger, and Daniel says, Ledger kicks the ball over the bar. Uh, that's what the play was, Gail. Kick it in high to Thomas Walsh. Ball over to the uh, Alan Kelly, the centre half forward, is in the middle of the field for Carlo. It's in the Carlo half at the moment. And this is a long ball uh, by uh, JJ Smith right up the pitch. They uh, go for this Thomas Walsh. He's on the sideline. Ends up with the ball. He's just outside the 45. Thomas Walsh with the ball trying to decide what to do with it. Lays it up to uh, JJ Smith who's gone forward. Uh, JJ Smith on the right foot. This could be the lead for Carlo by JJ Smith and it's gone. From the kick out, Alan Curran back in to, uh, to uh, Dara Foley and uh, Dara Foley on the right foot is kicked and Alan Curran is going over the bar. Another point for Carlo. I don't necessarily agree, but I think it was going against him until the Carlo man, JJ Smith, did pull him down and then there was no doubt about it. Yes, Michael. Uh... Yeah, they were going uh, quite well for as Gail says up to the 16 minutes when they were leading uh, four points to do. In fact, for the first 20 minutes, it was just in the last 10 minutes or so that Carlo have got back on top. Although John McGrath has this kick uh, just uh, halfway between the 21 and the 45, uh, just uh, more or less in front of the goals. It's uh, absolutely perfect for a right footed kicker. Uh, John McGrath back in the Wicklow team after a long absence. He kicks this very well. I think he's got it too, and that's a great kick. This might be, we missed the point of the field of the corners in the half. ...off to uh, 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 J.P. Dalton, J.P. Dalton kicks it up here to Leighton Glen. We haven't seen much of him in the last ten minutes or so. He got, can he do something spectacular now? Kicks the ball right across, that's a good ball for J.P. Dalton, or for uh, Shawnee Furlong. Shawnee Furlong has to turn, nobody with him, the full-back's on his back. It has to be a free in it is a free in And Shane Redmond, no chance there against Shawnee Furlong. Had to hold on to him, and this is... Uh, um, a, a ticking certainly for the full back and surely an easy point for uh, uh, Wicklow just outside the 21. Six points to five, just to make it six all, just coming up to half time. We haven't seen how much time there is uh, to be added, uh, but uh, Shawnee Furlong with this kick kicks it right over the bar and it goes six all.
Yes, Rory. Ball on the 14 yard line. Lays it out to uh, uh, to uh, Rory Finn. Rory Finn up to uh, John McGrath. John McGrath back to Rory Finn. In the middle to uh, uh, Alan Nolan, who's uh, gone forward. Alan Nolan, good ball in towards Dean Odlam. Dean Odlam out of the 45. Has to turn, look around. It uh, goes around the corner back here. Nolan still going. Still has the ball. Good layoff to JP Dalton on the right foot. And is this the lead for Wicklow from JP Dalton? It is, I think. Yes, it is. They be had an inspirational uh, first half. There goes the half-time whistle, in fact, here in uh, in uh, Dr. Colin Park with a score of seven points to six. Back to you, Matthew. With the leading seven points to six, John McGrath just about to uh, kick this five minutes into the second half in the Salians uh, Football League. Kicks it short, goes back to Paul Earls. Paul Earls drops it though and has to really recover and go with it. Uh, Paul Earls says, gives the ball back to McGrath again. Can he kick it from there? John McGrath back in the Wicklow team. Heading towards the Wicklow 45, he's still going. Have they found him again? He ends up in the floor, but referee doesn't give the free this time. Lays it off to Alan Kern. Alan Kern on the right foot, a dummy solo, and now a shot from Alan Kern and puts it over the bar on the great goal. Towards Leighton Glynn, Leighton Glynn takes it just inside the 45 for uh, Wicklow. Leighton Glynn trying to get around Brendan Murphy, still with the ball, still uh, solo with the ball. Now goes round, uh, lays off to Paddy Dalton, and Paddy Dalton is going for on the right foot. Oh, and what a kick by Paddy Dalton! Oh, that's a great throw. Um, and Brendan Murphy, that was a bad play by Wicklow, really, to throw that or get that ball away, and Brendan Murphy. Comes charging down the field, he's gone past the middle of the field, he's still going, he's going to go past Darren Hayton now. He's, Paddy Dalton gets a wonderful hand on the ball, uh, Paddy Dalton, and does he keep it in play? He does keep it in play. That is the tackle of the match by Paddy Dalton and Brendan Murphy. He robbed Brendan Murphy in full flight, dived in, knocked the ball away from, and we have a chance for James Stafford to come attacking again. A big ball by James Stafford into the full forward line. And Leighton Jane takes it, it's a tap over for Leighton, I think, and has he got it? He has got it, and it's a great point. With Finnegan for uh, Carlo. He finds he finds Connor Pullins. Connor Pullins into Sean Gannon. Uh, this is dangerous. As Thomas Ball says to the Mullins, Mullins in front of the goal. Slow heart in the net. Oh, that was on the cards from the time the ball came up the line. Uh, this is free is taken. Uh, in towards uh, Mullins again, Connor Mullins, he's made a bit of a difference, he's lining up this with a right foot, kicks it right across the goal, then Ledger gets it all to run the post, this be a certain goal for Thomas Mullins. On the 14 metre line, uh, just to the right of the post, just left of the post, ideal for uh, a right footed kicker, Daniel St. Ledger, surely he'd tap over, he does tap it over, and suddenly it's 2 10. It's uh, two, uh, two eight to ten points after uh, 22 minutes, and uh, the line ball which Paddy Dalton lofts into the square. Now can Leighton Glynn get it? Yes, Leighton Glynn should get a point here if he can make space. He's gone around the corner back. He's still going low, hard, and it's in the net. A goal for Wicklow from Leighton Glynn, and Wicklow are back in the game. From there, he's going to go for it. Leighton Glynn on the right foot has gone over the bar. Shawnee Forlong with the ball, he's going to try and go around the full back. Still going, Shawnee Forlong on the left foot. Shawnee Forlong with a kick and a smashing pass by Shawnee Forlong. Corey Finn with the ball, kicks it in towards the full forward line. Hits two against three. The, where does the ball break? Oh, it just breaks finally for Carlo. And Carlo, oh, they've thrown it away. Paddy Dalton comes in and robs it. He's dropped it. It's knocked over by to, to uh, Nathan Lynn. Nathan Lynn is a signy. Signy back to Nathan Lynn. And Nathan Lynn over the bar, yes! Sean Gannon, Sean Gannon gives it over to uh, JJ Smith on the right foot. JJ Smith on the right foot. It's going over the bar. It's level again. Can you be? And it's a draw in Dr. Cullen Park after all that. What a match. Michael, excited.